Hey, this is Paul with the Ledger. Uh, we're in the Ballantyne area of Richland County today at the beautiful home of Joe uh, Monroe and, and Glenn and his sons here with us. They're both from Columbia Meats. And I'm going to tell you right now, we've got the neighbors drooling. We've, we've had some, some smoke going on. And right now, we've got some cowboy ribeyes on the steak, some absolutely beautiful cuts of meat that are grilling on Joe's big green egg. Now, uh, Glenn, tell us a little bit about a cowboy ribeye. What makes it different than the ribeyes that you, that you buy somewhere else? A cowboy ribeye, uh, it's a fresh bone-in steak. And it's a large cut, typically 20 to 22 ounces. And, I mean, it's a meal in and of itself. Um, for two, or a really hungry person right. like me. Um, and it's, you know, a fresh cut, usually about an inch and a half thick. It's got, you know, if you get choice or prime, it's going to be, have the good marbling going through it to give it that awesome flavor as it cooks. And you just want to, if you want it medium rare, you get the outside seared and cooked. The inside uh, stays a little bit pink. And as you see, my dad rubbing butter all over it. That's never a bad, never a bad thing. Never too much butter. Yeah, you, you can't go overboard with the butter. And yeah, a little salt and pepper, and you're ready to go. Now, I understand that, that a lot of times the, the flavor actually comes uh, from the marbling throughout and the bone health. Is that correct? Uh, yes. The closer, the closer you get to the bone, you're going to have more flavor. And I mean, none of the steaks going to be bad, but. The more fat that's closer to the meat, that's going to give you flavor. And the closer you get to the bone, that's going to taste good too. And now marbling, don't misunderstand it. Marbling is not just big, uh, large pieces of fat hanging around the outside. There's a difference between that fat and the marbling that we see on these steaks. Is that correct? Right. There's, you know, you're going to have the gristle where there's a large amount of fat, you know, towards the outside. But when you have small amounts of fat running through the meat, that's going to give you flavor throughout the steak. Gotcha. Now, what's the difference in cooking these steaks versus some of the chickens and things that we've been doing in the past? Well, with a uh, chicken, you want to cook it, you know, all the way through, obviously. And with a steak, you just need to cook the outside um, because the internal muscle is going to be sterile. And once you, you cook that at a higher temperature and a shorter amount of time, a chicken, you're going to cook for you know anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour a steak you could go five to ten minutes each side and it's ready to eat and we're talking about a difference in temperature too right mm -hmm. yeah the steak I mean you can sear it at 700 degrees or you know just to get the outside cooked just depending on how you want it if you want it rare it's on there for a lesser amount of time if you want it cooked all the way through well done which I, in my opinion ruins a cowboy ribeye yeah. <laughs> but but some people some people do you know like their steaks well and you just cook it for a longer amount of time now, now I've got a question for our big green egg expert Joe I noticed a while ago that um, uh, that we had a little flare up and you were able to control that by controlling the valves in this egg is that correct that and uh, just shutting it down um, it cuts off the oxygen and uh, the way this cooking system is it, it prevents the flare-up it you just don't have flare-up now you'll notice if I open it up it'll be, there won't be a flame but then when I have it all the way open and oxygen gets to it it'll start firing up that's back from some of my old fireman days. We learned that in fire science when I was when I was studying at the fire academy. Uh, the fact that we removed the oxygen, you get a lot of nice smoke and you get the heat, but you don't have the flames. And this this grilling system allows him to do that. Uh, these steaks are looking good. They're off. They're smelling awfully good. <laughs> so we're gonna cut this thing short and and go to the table. Uh, you can get these steaks and and just about everything else you need for your party, uh, for Thanksgiving, Christmas. Consider giving these as a gift this Christmas. That's a big uh, point that you can do if you want to show appreciation to your employees, if you want to show appreciation to your customers, uh, maybe just close friends or family members. You know, they're, they're, every year my wife comes to me and says, I don't know what to get so and so. He's got everything. And, you know, you can't have but so many slippers and bathrobes. Uh, <laughs> this is the kind of gift that somebody's going to appreciate. Right. So you can get these gift packs at Columbia Meats. They, they have a special label on them that says they're especially for that person. Uh, you can get them packed in several different ways from as, as few as a steak. Paul, get i got to get these steaks off. Get them off, Joe. We don't <laughs> want to burn them up. This is Paul Kirby with the Southwest Lexington Ledger.